Get to the weapons. Use them any way you can. I know you won't break the rules. There aren't any. Hello. Let's learn how to play Dueling Nobles. To play the game, you'll need a 52-card deck, four six-sided dice, markers that you could use to mark wounds, and markers for resources. First thing you do is separate the face cards to create what's what we'll call the Noble deck. All the other cards go in the separate deck. Give each player six of the Nobles, randomly, of which they'll choose three to place in what we call their courtyard. From the other deck, also give each player six cards. The first phase of a turn is the start of turn phase. Once per game, for each of the four suits, you can discard a card of that suit to get a special effect. You can discard a heart to remove a wound from one of your nobles. You can discard a diamond to draw three cards from the number deck, but only if you have fewer nobles than your opponent. You can discard a club to take a card from the discard deck, or you can play a spade to look at your opponent's hand. Also during the start of turn phase, you may place a single two or three from your hand under one of the nobles in your courtyard. Or, if there's already a two or three down, you can move it to a different noble. It's also worth noting that you don't get the suit bonus for this card, but it otherwise per uh, gives a permanent bonus for all duels. Also during the start of turn phase, the active player may wound each of their kings to, dr to get one resource. Step two of a player's turn is to generate resources. A player generates one uh, resource automatically at the start of the turn and may discard three cards of the same suit for three additional resources. Step three is to spend resources. A player can spend up to three resources to draw that number of cards, but they must decide ahead of time how many they're going to draw. A player can also spend five for a new noble from the discarded nobles from the start of the game. Step four is to announce a duel. The attacker chooses which nobles from each side will be in the duel. At this point, the defender can pay two resources to switch the target. Play alternates in this fashion until one player no longer has any nobles in play. A duel begins with each player adding a six-sided die to their noble strength. The attacker then may play a card from their hand. If the suit matches the suit of the noble they're playing the card on, then there's an additional plus two bonus on top of the value of the card. At this point now, the defender may also play a card. Aces count as critical hits and beat any other value, except another ace, in which case there's a tie. The higher total wins. The winner gets one resource, while the losing noble takes a wound. In the case of a tie, both nobles are wounded and no resource is given out. If a noble takes a certain number of wounds, they're eliminated from play. A jack has a base strength of 11 and can take two wounds before being eliminated. Instead of playing only one card during the duel, the jack may play two cards. A queen has a base strength of 12 and may take two wounds before being killed. The queen also gets an additional three to their strength for each ally in their courtyard. The king has a base strength of 13 and can take three wounds before being killed. The king rolls two six-sided dice instead of only one during the dueling phase.